friends, today we're going to be taking a look at this very cool tool that I got for the kitchen. Now what's so cool about this is it does quite a few different things. It can julienne, peel, and you can also use these little attachments on the edge for garnishes or for getting the eyes out of potatoes. So I'm going to be taking this down low and I'm going to show you all of the cool things you can do with this tool. So we're going to be testing out all of these different things today to see how well or not that this thing actually works out and gets the job done. So with this tool, you can make spaghetti squash, julienne carrots, make hash browns, peel potatoes, make apple chips, peel cantaloupes. There are so many things that this thing is supposed to be able to do. So let's get to it. Okay, so now what I've really liked so much about this tool is it's so easy to just take out and use without having to set a bunch of stuff up you just take it out of the drawer and it's ready to use. One side of this tool here has little blades in it that will julie in, and this side has dual blades, so you can run it up or down, and both of these sides swivel. And on the sides here, you have your garnishing tools. So you can use these for giving a great presentation or getting the eyes out of your potatoes, possibly. So now what I've used this tool for the most since I've had it is cutting apples. I'm going to show you how to slice an apple and you can even make apple chips with this. So you're just going to start right on the edge and pull it down. So I found the best way to hold it is in my hand like this and just slide it down. It does feel a bit awkward. It's like it feels like you almost have to get used to it before you can get really good at it. And I just do all the sides. You are going to want to be very careful with your fingers because it does seem like you could easily slice one off or get cut very badly. But you see it goes very quickly. It's pretty easy to use. So this is what I got. Nice thin slices of apples. Now I don't know what it is about this, but I love eating them like this. I don't eat apples often, and this has really had me eating apples every night for a snack. I don't know what it is, it's like little chips, and you can take it a step further and put these in the oven. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So you're going to preheat your oven to 225, and then you're just going to arrange the slices on a baking sheet. And then you're just going to give a good sprinkle with cinnamon sugar. Yummy. So the trick to these is cook them low and slow. So just put them in the oven at 225 for about an hour. So you want to take the apples out when they've curved up around the edges. And you get a very healthy snack for you or your kids. So they're actually very sweet and very crunchy. They're re very, very tasty. So another thing that I'm pretty excited to try is some spaghetti squash, which you can do with the julienne side of this blade. So you're just going to run it down, and it does make, look at that, very nice. And this is very easy to do. Now you can start to hear when it gets into the seeds. So you're just going to do the next side. Wow, so look at that. I've never actually made spaghetti zucchini before. So I'm pretty excited about um, doing this and I bet my kids are going to like it a lot more than if I would try to give them zucchini any other way. And that was actually very easy to do. So I'm excited to try this little flower tomato that I saw them making online. So I'm not sure how easy this is going to be, but you're supposed to use the peeler side and go around and around. Yeah, this is like such a sharp blade that you can even peel a tomato with it. So, wow. And you're supposed to be able to roll this up. 
So even though I didn't do perfect on that, I actually got a pretty nice looking little rose out of that. Pretty cool. So I'm not very good at this, but you can do, you know, use these as little garnishes on your plate and do a bunch of really cool things with it. So that's pretty cool. So another pretty cool garnish that I saw was you can use the sides of this tool and you can make pretty little shapes out of your fruit, out of your vegetables. So you just go down in it and do this sort of thing. So look at how cool it looks already. You just use a knife and make slices and you can make some really pretty things out of it. That looks like a pretty garnish on a plate as well. So there's just little cool things that you can actually do with this to make pretty cool little garnishes. You just have to, you know, this is my first try. I've never actually tried anything like this before. So, I mean, that's not too bad for my first try. I never knew I could make a tomato rose before. Okay, so this is also great for peeling carrots and it's very fast. Another cool thing about this tool is it has double blades. So you can go back and forth and really get the job done fast. And then for julienning, very easy to do with carrots. So you can julienne a carrot like in two seconds with this tool. So another thing you can do very easily with this tool is shred cabbage. And very quickly at that, you can also do lettuces, uh, whatever, and it is very fast and very easy. Okay, so a couple of cool things that you're supposed to be able to do with this that you wouldn't be able to do with like a regular mandolin is like take the skin off of these and peel them. So let's check it out and see how it works. This is supposed to be able to, whoa, makes a mess. Okay, so it doesn't work so good for like peeling off the outside and my pineapple is a bit ripe. So it could also be that as well. But I did also see another thing that you can do that might make this easy to use with a pineapple. Okay, so this is where your little garnishing tools are going to come in good use. So they come right out with this little tool. My pineapple is a bit ripe and soft. So you can just take out all of your extra knobs just like that. It's very quick and easy if you just run it along each one just like that and get all of those little knots off of your pineapple. And this is where your little brush is going to come in handy as well, getting into these and cleaning them. So this brush actually really helps. So I wonder how it will do with the cantaloupe here. Oh wow, yeah, now that's nice. That works really good. So this is actually a really good way to peel your cantaloupe so you don't waste you know, as much as possible. Pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is a potato. This thing slices through potatoes like butter, literally. Look at how fast you get a whole potato done. And it does a big spot at once. So one thing I've noticed about using this is you really want to find the best handhold for you. The better you find out how to hold it, the better it's going to work for you. But yeah, you can get a potato done in like five seconds. That's all the strokes that it took to get that done. And then you can use the julienne side and make hash browns. So as you can see, very easy to make something like hash browns and very quickly too. Just take out a potato and take this out and you're ready to go. All in all, I would say that this is a very nifty tool to have for your kitchen. What I like so much about it is it's so easy to just pull out and use. You don't have to set up a mandolin, you don't have to set up a, a shredder. 
It's just it's something you can pull right out of your drawer, shred some cheese for your meals, make a hash brown breakfast in the morning, just grab a potato, an onion, and you can have it done and prepared in less than five minutes. It's a pretty nice little device. I like that I can put it in the dishwasher to clean it. So this is the box that your peeler will come in. And they also give you this little mini peeler. It's a nice free little gift. And I definitely like the brush. This is really good for when you're in between cutting different things for one meal. But yeah, I like that it comes with this. You can cut yourself very, very easy. So be careful. You might even want to wear some gloves with this thing. This is probably the one downside to this peeler. You're right up next to your hands trying to peel with it. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.